style in progress for uh, June 7th behind the uh, Drake Hotel at uh, Queen Street West in Beaconsfield is shaping up. And uh, we're just dropping off some primer paint here. And uh, we got Yana from Style in Progress. Yana, how's it going? Good. Is uh, everything shaping up okay for resurface? Yeah, it sure is. Sure is. June 7th behind the Drake Hotel. Lots of writers, DJs, B-boys, B-girls. I see you got a bunch of primer paint here. Uh, ICI Dulex uh, Latex Flat Black, number 1534. Um, when are you going to be doing the uh, the priming of the walls? Priming starts tomorrow. We'll be doing it Friday, Saturday. Hopefully, we'll paint. Yeah. You need, it's usually done a week beforehand. You need any volunteers? Um, we're getting some. Yeah, maybe possibly. If anyone's interested, they can email us at info at stylingprogress.ca. Right on. What time are you doing that? Or are they going to show up in the alleys on Saturday at noon? Saturday, May 31st. Yeah, behind the Drake Hotel. Look for people with tank cans. Right on, so that's for Buff Day. And then the actual event is? June 7th. What time does that go on June 7th behind the Drake? Uh, it starts around 12 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Around there it goes till 7 o'clock. And it's only that way, so. yeah. What's the situation with uh, the walls this year, huh? Well, we lost one wall because a new uh, restaurant went in. So, uh, But we've made it up with another wall, so it's balancing out. Good stuff. Thanks for all your work with all this. Now, uh, you got your friend Mike here. <laughs> Mike, uh, this is a paint sprayer here. I guess you've used a paint sprayer before? Yeah. You want to explain to everybody uh, how to use a paint sprayer? How to keep it in good working condition? <laughs> Just keep it clean. Make sure when you're done using it to rinse it out. Obviously, we're using uh, water-based paint. so No oil. No oil. So this goes in the bucket of paint. This is to adjust the pressure and if you're not using it just keep the water circulating and then once you're done using it spray out until you see nothing but water and clean it up nice and good. <laughs> right on. Uh, there's a couple things I just want to show you guys. Right here there's a little button that's your on and off. This gets this runs on electricity and it it's noisy and you plug it in with a long extension cord so you got an extension cord there. This right here, to get your pressure up, you got to put it up oh. or down. I can't remember if it's up or down, but that's your little button. So your two key buttons are on and off right here. This is to control your pressure. That goes in the paint can. What's that one for? Uh, you don't really have to touch that one, actually. That's where the paint chamber goes. So this is a little different. This one's an old battle axe, but it works really well because we got a friend that likes to refurbish these. Nice. And the reason they have to be refurbished is because they get dry paint in them and it gets gummed up. On the handle right here, on that handle, there's a little key right here. And this little key, you can turn it and you can get a straight stream or you can get a, a wide stream. Yeah, sometimes that gets gummed up. The idea is we don't want this thing gummed up because as soon as it gets gummed up and it doesn't get washed out with water, it's screwed and these things run anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars and uh, I'll be honest with you I bought this with my own money because I like you guys and this was what this is what it was bought for to help you guys prime so Aww. keep her good okay <laughs> very good care of it thank you yeah, we'll clean it up. all right and uh, volunteers again anybody wants to volunteer to help you guys prime yeah Saturday in the alley at noon right on Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you. Uh, you do great work with Style and Progress. And uh, thanks a lot for the paint there, ICI. No doubt. Black this is, is the, best. the cream of the crop, flat black primer paint. There's some paint stands there. If uh, we can get a spot for them, we'll set up a couple of plywood demonstrations. Uh, if we run out of walls. And uh, thanks for everything, uh, Ian and Mike. Thanks a lot. <laughs>